What do you say that you find yourself doing most often while you're here in the office? Some weeks it's phone calls. If I get lots of people that are calling the office and want to have a meeting with me, or sending me inquiries through our website saying that they want to have a consultation with me, which usually we do that to start by phone. I talk to them for, uh, say, a half an hour to get to know them, get to know what they need, and whether or not their case is a type of case that I can help them with. So there are days where all I'm doing is talking on the phone, mm -hmm. but then when that happens, I might block out the next day on my schedule and say, okay, no phone calls on this day because now I need to write all of these paperwork and documents so there are some days where I'm just doing document drafting for most of the days mm -hmm. some days where I'm just doing phone calls all day and then there are days that are about half and half where I might be doing phone calls some and drafting documents some so it changes week to week which is another good part about uh, what I do is that it's not the same every every single day yeah. Do you find that there's any part that really stresses you out most? There are definitely parts of my job that are stressful. Sometimes it's simply a matter of if we've got lots of people that want to come in and talk to me or, or have a call with me, where the schedule fills up so much with calls that I feel like I'm not getting anything done. I'm getting the paperwork done for the people that I talked to last week, so sometimes that stresses me out. And I've got people that are in a situation where their parent or themselves needs to go into a nursing home care right away or is sick or is in the hospital we're really under uh, tight timelines to get things done so that can stress me out yeah. a, a little bit too and sometimes I have to fight with the people at Medicaid and Mass Health and that's stressful as well so those yeah. are those are the biggest things the last question I have is what advice would you give someone who wants to become a lawyer so a part of that, you know, depends on whether or not they know what kind of lawyer they want to be. I know I didn't when I was going to college. I didn't know what type of law I wanted to do. I did my bachelor's degree in colleges in criminal justice because I thought maybe I wanted to do criminal law. And then I learned from doing that in college that I didn't want to do that type yeah. of law. So I would tell them, first of all, sometimes knowing what you don't want to do is just as important as knowing what you do because yeah. you're able to cut things out. The other thing to think about that's important for someone that wants to become a lawyer is whether they want to become a lawyer and work for themselves like I do and, and be part of either a small office or a small group of lawyers or whether they want to go to Boston or New York and work for these big giant companies. You can make a lot of money doing it that way, but you work a lot of hours and you don't always get the one-on-one -on -one interaction like that I get with my clients because they have to deal with me. I'm the only lawyer here and so I get to deal one-on-one -on -one with everybody and you don't always get that at a big firm. The other thing is that I can set my own hours. If I need to do something, I'm able to, to set my own schedule. So, you know, I definitely would ask somebody that wanted to be a lawyer if they had any idea. And if they don't, that's okay. But I would tell them to try and do courses in college that they're interested in because to be a lawyer, you can major in anything. Um, in college. It doesn't have to be criminal justice. It can be languages. It can be history. It can be philosophy. It can be anything that you're interested in. So I would say to do something you're interested in there. And then if you're going to go to law school, once you get into your second year of law school, they offer lots of different courses in all different types of law. And I would say to take a little bit of everything so that they could learn what they like you know, I did learn when I was in school that this type of work is what I enjoy doing. So even back then, the classes in estates and wills is what I liked the best. But there are classes in corporate law and criminal law and trial work and all that. So definitely to take classes in a little bit of everything because it's really the best way to figure out, you know, what you want to do. And the only other thing I would say is if it's somebody that didn't go to law school yet but was on their way to prepare themselves for a, a lot of work because it is, it's a lot of work. It takes yeah. up a lot of time. You don't have a lot of free time because you're reading and studying, doing homework and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of work, but if you can stick it out and get through it, there are uh, you know a lot of rewards because I didn't always love what I do, especially at the beginning when I was doing a little bit of everything and having to take on cases that I didn't really want to, but I had to at the time when I was new. But now, you know, I like what I do. I take the cases that I want to take. So if you can, you know, stick it out and, and persevere through that, you can get to the point where you really, you know, enjoy it and, yeah. and it's very rewarding. So if you decide you want to do it, that's what I would tell you, but that's what I tell anybody. All right, so as I said, this is my daughter Gabby, and I really appreciate her coming in to ask me some questions and learn a bit more about what I do all day and why I do it. If you have questions and you want to know anything similar to what Gabby was asking me, anything about the practice of law or my practice specifically, 
can certainly send me an email or go to our website. There's tons of information there. I'm happy to answer them. Please feel free to do that anytime.